hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i am making a loft style little beach house uh, with a wrap around porch or kind of wrap around it's like mid wrap around porch and it's a one bedroom and originally it was supposed to be a base game but then um i felt like I, w I really wanted to do like a lot of clutter items and I really wanted to make it like kind of have like a little beachy feel kind of like a mellow mellow feel in the house so I ended up using like a bunch of packs um, but it's a quaint, a little quaint little house and unfortunately we don't have like the bright like yellows in the like the wood plank and you'll see like what I mean um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to make it bright and like kind of sunny on the inside. Uh, so I used a lot of like bright colors for like the kitchen and stuff. And, and um, but yeah, <clears throat> so before we get into the build, um, I'm just putting down the base right now. I wanted to talk to you all. So um, I'm sorry that this video is late. Uh, so me and my uh well now ex-boyfriend i had just recently broke up and uh yeah so i am okay um so there is like there's comes a point and i don't know if it's for males as well but when you're when you're a female there comes a point in your life and your relationship where you realize like okay this isn't like you shouldn't allow someone to talk to you the, the way that they talk to you or treat you the way that they treat you and so when him and I like broke up I was actually building this house like decorating it <laughs> I was actually okay I felt a little relieved and I feel a lot better now and a lot more happier and a lot more freer I guess I should say uh, my point is if you ever feel like like you don't want to be alone or you feel like you can't do this or you're, you know you're in a relationship and you feel like you just can't like you you know you want to walk away but you're scared to uh don't be because there's so many possibilities when you do walk away and you do think about yourself and you are a little selfish there's there's a little bit of possibility of true happiness and that's entirely what i feel i've been focusing on the gym i've been um you know trying to get like focusing on work and then trying to get this build up um it's finally done and i'm really excited um how cute this house actually came out to be um and i know that i said i was going to do kaz um and i did not get the chance to do it for this house but i did want to do it for this house because i have like the perfect sim in mind I kind of wanted to do it kind of like a not a granny but like an older sim for sure with a little cat and I put like an easel and I put like those paint thingies outside um you'll see later I forgot they're called those uh, canvases like the, the blank canvases I lean them outside and like I put a bunch of plants and planters and I didn't put planters I should have but I put like a bunch of plants um so in my mind, I, I'm thinking like of an older sim. Oh, and I changed the kitchen completely. Um, the count, uh, the counters, the what are they called? The yeah, the countertops, the counters, and like I just changed the cabinets. There you go. Sorry, the cabinets to um, parent the Parenthood stuff pack one um just like the the cabinets on the top because i feel like um it kind of matched more with like the beachy theme uh the island i keep the same i just change it into like a green color so it's a very bright i, I wanted to make it a very bright bright kitchen um because i just i wanted to do i wanted to use like bright colors like when i think of the beach i think of like the sun and sand and so i wanted to do bright colors and i really like how the little island came out and i put the little divider thing so it just doesn't look so awkward um but yeah i think this is when i changed the counters the cabinets whatever they're called <laughs> So yeah, I kind of just do that and then I didn't want to change this, but then I just felt like it didn't fit in with the countertop. So I just ended up changing it to like a green and I wanted to make it like, like I said, like a bright, bright kitchen and it's like a tiny little living room and I actually really, really like how the living room came out because it's cluttered. Now, if you have a heart, I think, 
I think they're it's a bit of a hard time to get in through the front door um, because when I went to go and take pictures and I had my sim go inside um, she actually used the side door so I'm not sure you might have to delete some stuff in front of the door um, because it's actually kind of hard to get I think it's kind of hard to get into the front door but I love this living room because it's super like crowded not crowded but it's a little cluttered and that's how I imagine like an older sim living here with like all her stuff all her like treasures stuff like that and <clears throat> she's a retired sim who you know loves to plant and she's a florist and well, she ha she was a florist and not anymore now she just does it for fun and she just lives by the beach and just <clears throat> loves to go like and walk and journal and like you know be with her cat and that's who i imagine like a sweet nice old like lady who lives here in this very cluttered beach house <laughs> so yeah i wanted to make it cluttered i wanted to make it kind of lived in and i did change the stairs like a little brown so that it kind of fit i think this is where i the, the stairs got kind of messed up so you might want to push them back a bit and hopefully she can get in or he or whoever you move in here could get in through the front door because i feel like I feel like you can't the little tight space right there and I didn't realize until I was editing so if you do download this house um <clears throat> you could go ahead and change, change the stairs also uh this house will be up on the gallery it's under bubby simmy but it's um bubby uh simmy with two with four eyes so simmy so it's S-I-I-M-I-I, -I -I, so Bubby Simmy. Um, and then if you want to follow me, oh, I'm not there yet. But if you ever, if you want to follow me on social media, I changed it as well. So it's all the same. Um, the only different one is the gallery, which is just two eyes. That's it. So this room, again, I wanted to make it like a bright room. I was thinking yellow, like, ugh. I don't have a lot of yellow that I like in The Sims. I feel like I feel like I wish we had our own custom, like we can make our own yellow. Because I really wanted to use the wood panels that I used for the outside in blue and yellow because that's how the picture looks like. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll post it like that on my Instagram, but <clears throat> on the picture that I was basting this on, it was like a blue and yellow house, like a blue and yellow beach house, and it looked really, really cute and really, really bright. And um, here in California. When I go to the beach, there's like houses near the beach and that's kind of, this is kind of how houses look like. They're really small and everything is like super cramped and you know, I'm a little nosy so sometimes I'll look inside their houses and everything does look like really cluttered. Um, you know, it's, living by the beach is expensive but, uh, and the houses are really tiny and close together but the perk is that you live by the beach so you could just walk down and go to the beach and that sounds like amazing i'm a little bit afraid of waves and stuff but <laughs> i'll have like nightmares about waves like taking me away but it's okay it's it's like i think the benefits outweigh like all the negatives maybe for me anyway they do so that's kind of what i was basing this off um just like a little a uh, little inspiration from my surroundings um obviously i looked up this picture and i will go ahead and come do the comparison on instagram but the like the essence of this house just remind me of like the houses near the beaches that i go to over here so yeah that's what i wanted to do i wanted to put um just make it very homey and like lived in and very cluttered so i put a lot of plants and i put the little light bulb thing there um so yeah this house is in what not um oh my gosh i forgot what it's called with the one that came with um get together the world that came with get together Ugh, i always 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 forget what that world is called like all the time i swear i every time i think about it i'm like what is that house called i mean that world cup but it's like right there near the beach area it's one of the smaller lots um let me see really quick get together world <laughs> i see i looked it up before oh yeah and the bathroom is a cute little bathroom now I really like this bathroom um there's a shower in here but uh i put that little laundry thing I didn't put a laundry 
a basket or a because I didn't put like a hanger thing outside um, but I put the mirror on the side which I thought was kind of interesting because you don't really see that in kitchens. So I kind of wanted to make it like a super cluttered house a super cluttered kitchen I mean super cluttered um, bathroom and I think I just said kitchen earlier um, <laughs> but yeah with the mirror on the side and like plants and stuff like that and I really like this house honestly like it's a really really nice house um, like I said, if you want to download it, it will be up on the gallery under Bubby Simi with two eyes in Simi, like four eyes actually. Um, and if you want to subscribe, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click ding the little bell. If you want to get notifications of when I'll be uploading more, I will be try to upload I'll be trying to upload more now so hopefully I'll have a few videos out throughout the week um, that's what I'm hoping for so yeah go ahead and give this video a huge a thumbs up and if you want to follow me on social media it's a bubby simi for both Instagram and Twitter and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time